We begin tonight with this new video right here. Bellevue police are still working to track down everyone involved in the looting spree that happened on May 31st. And they need your help identifying three of the suspects there. They say two of them instigated the looting and the other one torched a man's truck. Good evening. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Lindsay Sheldon. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy talked to the man who tried to stop the looters and ended up having his truck set on fire. Cairo 7 obtained this video of looters swarming J. Lewis jewelry in Bellevue. You can see the man in the red coat and blue hat in the back takes a rock and throws it through the door, shattering the glass. Looters climb in. What these two did is they essentially instigated a, a looting of two locations in Bellevue. You can see the Asian female uh, actually crawl through the window of the store and begin looting the store. And if you look, you'll notice she has a distinctive tattoo on her right wrist. Police hope this tattoo will give away her identity. Investigators say she also looted the Xfinity store at Bellevue Square, along with the man in the red coat and blue hat. Hundreds of looters ascended on Bellevue Square and stores nearby on May 31st as police monitored peaceful protesters. Just want to make it clear that these individuals were not protesting anything. They saw an opportunity to commit a crime. Detectives also need help identifying who set this truck on fire. It belongs to Rick Froton, who'd been called in to board up businesses. We saw a mob of people coming up Bellevue Way, and one of them yelled out, There's a jewelry store. And as soon as I heard that, I knew that they were coming to the jewelry store that we maintain. He says he told the looters the store was closed due to the pandemic and the jewelry had already been removed. They broke in anyway. Something into the window and then somebody threw uh, a cherry bomb or some kind of explosive into my truck. And then my son got me out of the way and... After that, uh, we just watched it burn. Police say this is the man who set Rick's truck on fire, caught on camera, holding what looks like a firework. He's wearing a distinctive mask. And if you look at his mask, you'll notice that there's tabs on uh, both sides of the mask. It's not a normal surgical mask or a gas mask. If you recognize the suspects in the video, call Bellevue Police or Crime Stoppers. They're offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Michael's Toyota helped Rick replace his truck. Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.